rotation and different system to shake it up. Yeah. What kind of boost did Cam give you? I mean, he gave us the boost we needed, you know, somebody that can score off the dribble, off the catch like that. Um, you know, when a team, young team like this, they're going to send all their resources at James and myself, you know. So they playing super physical and super tight to me, and they're going to bring over some help when I drive. You know what I mean? So guys are going to be open, and Cam was – they did a. They left him open. I guess he wasn't on the scout report, but they left him open, and he made plays. And in transition, he got out, tied the game for us. And um, that and one was a. It was huge for us, and I think that pushed us over the top to kind of like, because we were down 10, 11 the whole game, you know. So when we got back into it in the end of the third, that was huge for us. He's talked about you kind of mentoring him. What do you What do you think it does for him in a situation like this? You guys. All the veterans were looking for him in that spot. Yeah, we just talked the game. I won't call it mentor. I mean, we all just exchanging information. You know what I'm saying? We all trying to. He's seeing he's seeing my game from a different vantage point. You know, coming off the bench, I'm seeing his game. You know, so we just exchanging information and going over stuff that we see and trying to sharpen our skills and our tools as our IQ as mental basketball players first. So. Um, it's good to see a young dude like Cam who's into it like that, you know what I mean? It's, you can tell he's a student, so we need him to build on this. I mean, we don't need him to be a comfortable because he had a little 11-point game because he made a couple shots, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on, I'm always on him, but he always on me too, but I'm gonna be on him even more now. What was, uh, what was the key defensively? I mean, you got down 11, maybe at halftime. Obviously, to get you guys on the boards. What was the key defensively that Steve stressed in that lock uh, I just think we switched our coverage up a bit. They were they were getting, getting kind of free there in the pick and roll, and Darius Gollum was getting downhill pretty easily after a few screens, and you know, so we just wanted to close that space up a bit. We started switching some stuff. We changed up our lineup, our matchup. I mean, and was able to keep them from the paint, and uh, we rebounded. You know, uh, they are rebounders, but like. We missed a lot of shots in the first half, too, you know, so it wasn't like, um, oh, yeah, they killed us on the offensive boards, too. Um, but for the most part, the, us losing in the rebounds didn't hurt us when we kept getting stops, you know what I'm saying? We uh, held on to 38%, so, you know, when you do that, when they miss a lot of shots, we still put ourselves in a good position to win. What would you say uh, Marcus' contribution was in the second half? I mean, just being in the right spots and making the right plays. And, you know, big men, um, lately big men have been just, uh, other coaches have been using their bigs to help so much off of the, the penetrators. And, you know, so when we get space in that corner, L was be able to knock that shot down. They feel... Um, less confident leaving him wide open to come help, you know, so um, he's been uh, taking advantage of those opportunities and to get a double-double tonight was huge for us. How's your shoulder? Cool. Just, uh, I know these guys haven't talked to you since before the, the game that, that you missed. What, uh, from your vantage point, what went into to sitting out that game? Uh, no, we had a couple days um, in between those two games and uh, just wanted to get another extra day of rest and see how it feels after that. So it felt good today.